Hey, this is Chesson C. Groves, the listing agent for 325 McLeod Street in Matthews. Wanted to go ahead and make this easier for everyone to put together a little slide presentation of additional info about the property and some of the seller's preferred terms. Hey. So the first things to note are some special features in the home. There is a one-year CPI contract that is transferable to the buyer. Of course, the buyer would be responsible for paying for the terms of that contract. That beautiful white painted brick was updated just in 2020, as well as those flower boxes. Those are made to hold live flowers, plants, etc. That wood stained door was custom made, as well as the bench seat you'll see in the kitchen. The playset does convey, and the roof and HVAC were updated in 2019. When the sellers bought the home, they had some crawl space repairs done, which included adding a new vapor barrier. One additional item to note is, as well as the close access to the Four Mile Creek Greenway and tons of parks, right at the end of McLeod Street is access to the historical uh, Crestdale Heritage Walking Trail. So here's a great overview of that Heritage Walking Trail. As you can see, you have direct access right from McLeod Street. And this way you can easily get to the library, the post office, the farmer's market, and all the other fun stuff that's right down there in historic downtown Matthews. So here's a great overview of part of the seller preferred terms, of course, are going to be those strong uh, price and due diligence fees. They're really looking for a closing date at the end of May and some additional items to consider. Are they really are looking for a buyer who's willing to accept that 12 month CPI contract? As far as the personal property is concerned, meaning the refrigerator and washer dryer, the sellers would really like to keep that, but if it is to convey, they'd like to see that as a bill of sale. And then please note the fixture, except, fish, <laughs> fixture exceptions that are listed in MLS so we can make sure that those are noted properly in your offer to purchase and contract. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you found this additional information helpful. Let me know if you have other questions, and I look forward to speaking with you.